Hi guys, I'm Will with Perfect Water Technologies. We're the folks who manufacture the Home Master product line. Today we'll be conducting the installation of the Home Master Loaded Artesian Full Contact Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System. If you own a different Home Master RO system, don't worry. You can use this video as a guide as all Home Master RO systems are similar in configuration. Before you get started here today, included in your installation kit is the Home Master RO System Installation and Service Manual. Please ensure you read this from front to back in order to achieve a successful installation. I'm really excited to guide you through this process, so let's have some fun and let's get started. Included in the box with the Home Master Loaded Artesian Full Contact Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System is the fully assembled purification cluster, which includes RO membrane and filters, refrigerator connection kit, with a quarter inch inline ball valve, water storage tank, permeate pump mounting clip, luxury standard brush nickel faucet with integrated 3 8 inch port, garbage disposal drain adapter, which is now included with all Home Master loaded models, tank label, installation and service manual, and your five piece bag. Let's get into those components now. The five piece bag includes all the components needed to conduct a successful installation of your new Home Master RO system. Here we have the cabinet mounting clip with screw, tank valve, Teflon tape, easy adapter or feed water valve which connects to the 3 8 inch compression line under your kitchen sink, and of course the drain saddle. Use it or the garbage disposal drain adapter to connect to the drain. For more details and information on what's inside the box, please visit our website at www.theperfectwater.com and review our unboxing video. Now that we've laid out all the components you need to achieve a successful DIY smooth installation, please continue on to the next section on how to install your new Home Master Reverse Osmosis Faucet. We're now going to review the steps for installing your Home Master Reverse Osmosis Faucet. A minimum of a one inch hole is required in order to install the faucet. Folks, if you have a granite countertop, please consult with your local granite countertop specialist for assistance with drilling the hole for your Home Master Reverse Osmosis Faucet. If your sink has a spare pre-drilled hole or soap dispenser or sprayer hose, you can mount the faucet there. When drilling a hole for the faucet, choose a location that is most convenient for dispensing the purified water. A flat area is required for the faucet location so the faucet base can be secured efficiently. Today we'll be installing the Home Master Luxury Standard Brush Nickel Faucet with an integrated 3 8 inch port for easy installation and faster flow rate. Here you have the faucet, metal extrusion plate, rubber washer, and the wing nut. Once the one inch hole has been drilled, the RO faucet can now be installed. First, remove the wing nut from the bottom of the faucet shank. Then, drop the faucet in the hole shank first. If you have someone to help you hold the faucet while you're under the kitchen sink, that's helpful. Otherwise, you can do it yourself. The next step is we're going to lock the faucet in place with the wing nut. Please note this is a non air gap faucet as air gap faucets are not commonly required. However, if you do require an air gap faucet, please call us and we'll provide you with a standard Home Master air gap RO faucet at no additional charge. And there you have it. You've successfully completed part two of the Home Master reverse osmosis installation videos. Please continue on to part three for step by step video instructions on how to install your new Home Master reverse osmosis system.
Next, we're going to proceed in installing the Easy Adapter, also known as the Feed Water Valve, which is included in your five piece bag. The Easy Adapter has a 3 8 inch male to female compression fitting, built in shutoff valve, and a quarter inch connection to the system. 3 8 by 3 8 is the most common size, however, half by half inch is available upon request. First, locate the cold water angle stop valve on the main water line under the sink. Turn it clockwise to shut off the water. You need to be sure you are using the cold water feed because hot water will destroy your RO system. Next, locate the 3 8 inch fitting which is typically found on the line out of the angle stop or where the existing line connects to the faucet. Disconnect the 3 8 inch fitting on the angle stop valve to reveal the threads. Once you've disconnected the 3 8 inch fitting on the angle stop valve, you'll want to apply 5 to 7 wraps of Teflon tape onto both the Easy Adapter and the male threads of the angle stop valve. Once applied, make sure the o-ring is properly seated then slowly hand tighten the Easy Adapter. We've installed the feed water adapter on the line and you can see it here fitted on the stub on the bottom. And on the top, we've reattached the cold water feed to the faucet. Again, please be sure to apply Teflon tape to the top of the feed water adapter and the stub to secure it. Folks, this is very important. Please be sure the easy angle stop valve or feed water adapter is in the closed position. And there you have it. You've successfully completed part three of the Home Master Reverse Osmosis installation videos. Please continue on to part four for step-by-step -step instructions on how to install your new Home Master Reverse Osmosis system. All Home Master loaded models now include the garbage disposal drain adapter. Please use the garbage disposal drain adapter for an easier installation if you have a garbage disposal under your kitchen sink. If you do not have a garbage disposal under your kitchen sink, then please use the drain saddle included in your installation kit instead. The garbage disposal drain adapter is also available for purchase on our company website, www.theperfectwater.com. An alternate method for connecting to the drain is to install the drain saddle if you do not have a garbage disposal and can't use the garbage disposal drain adapter. First, locate a vertical section of the pipe in front of the P-trap. You do not want to install it here after the P-trap. This is the ideal location. Alternatively, you can put it on this section of the pipe if you were to drill at a downward angle but this is the superior location to install the drain saddle. If you are working with a narrow segment of drain pipe or your drain pipe exceeds one and a half inches in diameter, please consider the hose clamp saddle drain adapter. If you have a garbage disposal, you can eliminate having to drill the hole by installing the garbage disposal drain adapter where the line from the dishwasher meets the garbage disposal. Both options are available for purchase right on our company website. Now that we've identified the location, we're going to place the template supplied with the drain saddle clamp over the location of the drain pipe and put a tiny mark where you are going to drill a hole with a quarter inch drill bit. Alternatively, you can start off with a smaller bit for a pilot hole. 
When you're drilling the hole, it's important to not drill through both sides of the drain pipe, just a single side in the center where you place your marker. Once you've drilled your hole, it's time to install the drain saddle. First, start by peeling the backing off the template supplied with the drain saddle and place it over the hole like I've done so here. It's time to fit the drain saddle on. Here is the drain saddle and I've already inserted the screws. You're going to fit it over the hole, place the backing on, and fasten it with the fastening nuts supplied. Folks, in securing the drain saddle, it's important to keep the entrance of the drain over the drain hole and keep it centered. To do that, you can use a long screw, a pen, today I've used a screwdriver, and slip it into the hole to make sure you have it on top of one another. And there you have it. You've successfully completed part four of the Home Master Reverse Osmosis installation videos. Please continue on to part five for step-by-step -step instructions on how to install your new Home Master Reverse Osmosis system. We're now going to install the tank. Using an eyedropper or a small spoon, we're going to place two drops of unscented regular bleach inside of the quarter inch stainless steel water nipple located on top of the storage tank. All right, once you've done so, allow it to sit for just about two minutes, pick up the storage tank and shake it out into the sink. Nothing more. Please remember, you should be repeating this annually when servicing your unit. Next, using the roll of Teflon tape included with your installation kit, we're going to apply five to seven wraps of Teflon tape in a clockwise direction to the quarter inch water nipple located on top of the storage tank. Now that you've applied your five to seven wraps in a clockwise direction, it's now time to apply the tank valve. Please only hand tighten the tank valve, as over tightening will crack the fitting. This is the air valve, also known as the Schrader valve. Folks, you do not need to touch it at this time as the tank ships pre-pressurize. As part of your annual maintenance, you'll be instructed to check the pressure and pre-pressurize to 7.5 PSI when needed. Please be sure to check out our video entitled Storage Tank Pressurization Procedure for Assistance. Included in your installation kit is the tank label. It will list the system model and number so you never forget. Please be sure to attach it to the top of the reserve tank I've chosen to leave the bag on the tank in order to keep it nice and clean during the installation and thereafter. Folks, place the tank in the back and out of the way. Please note, if space is an issue, the tank can be laid on its side to help with space, but upright is best. Now time to mount your home master. Located on the inside back cover of your owner's manual is a mounting template. Locate a section of the cabinetry where there's enough space both top and bottom and all around the filter cluster to ensure that you can get the unit in and out when it's time to service. Then tape the template to the wall. Once you have it taped, put your mounting clip over the hole and screw it in. If your system contains a permeate pump, please install the permeate pump mounting clip. If it does not, skip this step. 
Now that we have the mounting clip mounted and secured and the template removed, we're going to pop the whole master filter cluster into its mounting clip. You can see the unit orientation here, top and bottom. The rib cap with the single fitting is the top. The two fittings, white and gray, are at the bottom. Now you can cut the tubing ties and move on to inserting the permeate pump into its mounting clip. Please ensure that the arrow in the center of the gray label is pointing up towards the countertop. Again, if your system does not contain a permeate pump, skip this step. We've gone ahead and cut all the tubing ties. Now it's time to make all of our connections, starting with the orange line for the feed water in. We're going to connect it to the feed water adapter located in the back, connected to the angle stop valve. This is a two hand job. Insert the tubing into the hole and ensure that it goes all the way in. Bottoms out, give it a little pull and ensure that it's completely secure into the fitting. Next, we're going to do the drain line, which is the red tube. Remove the plastic nut from the drain saddle and put it on the red tube so that the red tube sticks out just about a centimeter. Loop the red tube over some point that's higher than the drain saddle, then go ahead and insert the tube into the hole and proceed to tightening it down. Only hand tighten. Do not over tighten as it will crack the fitting. Simply hand tighten so that it's snug and tug on it to make sure it is secure. Now proceed in installing the black 3 8 inch tube which connects to the storage tank. Again, as you insert the tube in the hole, you'll feel a bump. Push it in further and you'll feel it slide right in. If the tank valve is not already closed, go ahead and close the valve and ensure that the valve is perpendicular to the tube. Finally, insert the blue tube, which is the line up to the faucet. You're going to reach back with your fingers and locate the faucet adapter. Once you've done so, push the 3 8 inch blue tube into the faucet adapter until you can feel that it's secured. Pull back just a bit just to ensure that it's snug and fit. Folks, this is very important. Before proceeding with startup, please ensure the refrigerator connection kit is in the closed position with the ball valve perpendicular to the tube. The refrigerator connection kit is one of the many features included with every loaded version Home Master Reverse Osmosis system and is available for purchase on our company website as a standalone item or option. If your system does not contain a refrigerator connection kit, skip this step. And there you have it. Please continue on to the final part of the Home Master Reverse Osmosis installation video for step-by-step -step instructions on how to start up your new Home Master Reverse Osmosis System. Now, let's begin the starter procedure. First, ensure the valve on top of the storage tank is in the closed position. Next, also confirm the feed water valve or the easy adapter is also in the closed position with the valve perpendicular to the tube. Next, open the cold water angle stop valve on the main water line. Once the valve is fully open, return to the easy adapter or feed water valve and open it very slowly until the valve is completely open.
you must open the easy adapter very slowly to allow water to flow through the system at a very slow pace. Otherwise, you can damage your system. You will start to hear the water run and fill up the system, as well as the system start to hiss. Please note, with the tank valve off, the system should start to fill fairly quickly. We're going to come up to the sink and open the faucet. Leave it open and let it run. A trickle of water should be present after two to 20 minutes. Some blackening of the water may be present due to loose carbon being flushed out. Folks, this is very important. If your system does not contain a permeate pump, the trickle of water will remain steady. If your system contains a permeate pump, the thin steady trickle will oscillate with the pump. Once the trickle runs clear, close the lever on the reverse osmosis faucet and allow the system to pressurize. When the system is pressurized, it will shut off automatically. Folks, this is the most important step, the leak check. Please tug on each tube gently. Don't try to rip it out. Simply tug on each tube to ensure the teeth inside the collet ring have locked onto the tube. Next, use a paper towel to gently touch the tube where it meets the collet ring. Don't put any pressure on the collet ring. Just simply touch it with the paper towel. This way, you can examine the paper towel and look for signs of water. Once you have confirmed there is no water, you'll want to examine the system and the remaining fittings we have installed. Once you have confirmed the system has no leaks, slowly open the tank valve to allow the storage tank to fill. Please note, the storage tank may take anywhere from one to three hours to completely fill. Once the storage tank is full of water, the system will become completely silent. Once silent, it's now time to conduct the fill and drain procedure. Now I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to perform the fill and drain procedure. Folks, before getting started, please ensure your tank is full of water and the system is completely silent. This procedure may last anywhere from two to three hours. The bulk of the time is allowing the tank to fill. Draining the tank just takes just about 10 to 15 minutes each time. Let's get started. First, close the feed water valve or easy adapter. Once closed, lock open the reverse osmosis faucet and allow the water to flow until it comes to a complete stop. Folks, you'll want to complete this step twice. Please note, some harmless fine air bubbles or gray tinted water may be present as these things accompany new system insulation or each time filters are changed. Air becomes trapped inside tiny carbon pores and is released over time not gallons. The more you use the system, the sooner it'll dissipate. Folks, this is completely normal. You can confirm that they are air bubbles by pouring a glass and watching the bubbles clear from the bottom up. After pouring a glass of water, allow a few seconds for the water to clear and enjoy.
Once the water comes to a complete stop, close the reverse osmosis faucet. Once closed, slowly open the feed water valve or easy adapter to once again introduce water back into the system at a very slow pace. Now, allow the storage tank to fill up again, then drain the system for a second time. Once you have filled and completely drained the tank twice, you're ready to start enjoying your perfect water. And there you have it. You've successfully completed the installation of your new Home Master Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System. For more details and information regarding your Home Master Reverse Osmosis System, please visit us at www theperfectwater.com. We thank you so very much for watching. This is Will with Perfect Water Technologies, signing off.